Regime change in Russia is coming. That's the prediction of Andrei Kozarev, who was the foreign minister of Russia from 1990 to 1996. He says the regime of President Vladimir Putin is doomed to fail. But in order for that to happen, the West is going to need to stand up for its values and for international law. And that's especially true in Ukraine, which is fighting a Russian-backed insurgency. Kozarev has penned a piece for the New York Times, and that's what we'll delve into on today's press review. The crux of his argument is this. For a decade, the rising price of oil provided soaring growth and veiled the inherent deficiency of the Putin regime. In reality, Russia's government is simply incompatible with the reforms needed for sustainable economic development, which demands liberalization and competitiveness. Kozarev says that the period of prosperity in Russia brought about by revenue from energy exports has ended. Dissent from the elites is starting to be heard, and sooner or later, the people of Russia will also be spurred into action. He writes, today the nation is truly on its knees. Beneath a leader who cannot be changed and as hostage to the capricious price of oil and a glutinous military security complex. The fratricidal war in Ukraine, a renewed isolation from the West and the Kremlin's dependence on China as a financier of last resort are all jabs to national pride and security. Kozarev believes that the international community has a key role to play in affecting change in Russia. Key to this is the West's response in Ukraine, whose two easternmost regions have been partially occupied by a Russian-backed insurgency. Kozarev writes, The firmness of the West in protecting the sovereignty of Ukraine and restoring its territorial integrity is a prerequisite not only to rein in the Kremlin's aggressive impulses, but also to engage Russia in a constructive dialogue on a broad agenda. So, Ukraine as ever a key battleground in the confrontation between Russia and the West. But ultimately, Kozarev seems to be saying that change in Russia must come from within, from the people. He argues, regime change in Russia is inevitable, maybe imminent, but the West should not bet on that eventuality or make it a policy goal. The Russian people will rise up again, but the path to a sustainable democracy and stable economy will be challenging. The West should be ready to help them. The downfall of Russian President Putin has certainly been predicted before. But with growing international isolation, the confrontation with the West over Ukraine and a challenging macroeconomic situation, he may just be facing the most difficult period of his 15 years in power. That's all we have time for today. Join us again tomorrow for another press review. In Kiev, this is Ukraine Today.